Pre-configured bookmarks can help users navigate quickly to important locations in your map, whether they be tourist destinations or emergency services. First, choose the panel or placeholder location where you want the bookmark gallery to go, and then choose the bookmark widget. I typically choose to display the bookmarks as cards because this allows you to assign a meaningful thumbnail image to each bookmarked location. I also often allow the user to create and save their own bookmarks on their local computer, but it's important to know that bookmarks created by a user are specific to the user's browser, so they're cached. If the user clears their cache, the user also clears the bookmarks that they've added. Next, click on Create, and then give the bookmark a title. Unfortunately, you can't search by custom search fields in this setting window, so you'll have to figure out how to get to the location and extent that you want to be used for your bookmarks. It might be a good idea to make a list before you start to configure the widget. I'm going to search for White River, Arizona, and then zoom out quite a bit to find the Wallow Fire. You can click in the map to see the pop-ups that you've already configured to help you determine the location. And then set the extent and zoom level to where you want it to be. To add a thumbnail, click on the thumbnail box and then choose your image. You can set the thumbnail appearance by moving around the image window until it outlines what you want the thumbnail to show in the gallery and then click OK. You can click OK and then see that our pre-configured bookmark is now in the panel. If we click on the bookmark, our map view zooms automatically to the Wallow Fire location. The Add button is also here. So I'm going to launch this web application to show you what it would be for the user to add their own bookmark. They would need to already be zoomed in to the area that they want to bookmark, and then click on the Add button. Here, they can then give the button a title and then also choose their own thumbnail image. Once they do this, it will be saved to their browser so they could refresh their browser, restart their computer, and it would still be there. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, Please click like below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content updates.